Patients come into the clinic, you know, whether it be a sports med clinic, a primary care clinic, or a neurology clinic, um, any type of clinic actually. Um, within that uh, month, specifically the first seven days, and uh, after their concussion, they should be screened for these psychiatric symptoms. So whether that's by a questionnaire or by the uh, physician asking the patient, you know, have you been having any mood changes lately? Um, do you feel more irritable? Um, do you feel ang more anxious than normal? Um, or even asking their parents if they're, if they're younger or spouses or significant others um, if that's the case. Um, even I've had patients where um, the children have kind of brought up that, you know, my mom after this accident or head injury um, has been more irritable, uh, anxious around us lately, and, um, you know, we're not sure why that is. So I think just simply screening for it and just making patients be aware um, that this is something that can happen after concussion is the first step. And uh, the second step is part of like a take home message that I would uh, tell clinicians is that um, once you have screened for that, um, infor inform and educate the patients that, you know, this is common after concussion. And um, a lot of times that just do, by doing that, that can decrease some of the anxiety level that they experience. You know, why am I having these psychiatric symptoms? What's going on? And they can kind of learn to uh, uh, manifest them in different ways and uh, kind of control them. Serial office visits, you can rescreen for these symptoms and kind of take note that, okay, on the first visit, maybe it's day five after their concussion, um, they had irritability, anxiety, and um, some mood changes, you know, maybe a little bit of de uh, like depression or something. Um, and then in the second visit, maybe it's a week later, oh, you know, the only thing they really have now is irritability. So you can kind of track these symptoms. And, um, th you know, the, I think the, the final take home message would be that if these symptoms still persist, you know, let's say a couple weeks after their concussion, then, you know, the physician should really be thinking about. Um, alternative modes of therapy in terms of treatment. You know, now currently there aren't many FDA approved drugs, there's no FDA approved drugs for uh, psychiatric symptoms and post-concussion syndrome and there's really not that many drugs that have <clears throat> been shown to work in, in small studies. So at this point a lot of what that <clears throat> education or sorry the referral would be would be to refer patients to psychologists, therapists, psychiatrists um, to make sure that you know that their uh, needs are being met 